Yo, what is up, guys? It is me, Straw Hat Ninja 89 Yeah, I am, as you can tell, you're hearing audio here. You're not really hearing, um, you know, whatchamacallit. You're not really hearing, you know, you're not really seeing me because I'm saving that for a special surprise, surprise. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I have discovered something. Well, before we get to that, um, ah, oh, damn you, phone. Oh, okay, sorry about that, my phone's ringing for a sec. Anywho, so, as I was saying, um, I have just looked, um, before I was going to get into my special announcement, um, just to let you know, clarify, guys, that today is the day that, yes, the government has shut down, but I do not think this, it's not going to be a forever thing. It's, it's, it's just basically going to be just for now until the parties can decide on something on the new Obama's health care that's going on right now. So, yeah, apparently, um, I just want to wish you all out there who are struggling right now, like, with jobs and shit like that, I mean, but for people who are supported by the government with jobs and, you know, how you feeling, I'm really hoping you guys are making through this because I know even for people, you know, who are on welfare and, you know, shit like that, or on disability, SSI, Social Security, you know, all that stuff, I'm just wishing you guys, you know, out there right now the best hopefully you guys are making it through this tough time i mean you know and, and i think you guys could definitely survive i mean i'm really i'm praying you guys survive but i really think you guys can definitely make this you know just be strong you know pray that everything will be okay i mean you know it doesn't really matter because the it's just so fucking stupid what they're doing right now and just closing the government shutting it down completely is is just not the way to do it i'm sorry but hey what can you do that's what the senators and you know the people of congress government all that they agreed on so fuck it you know we just have to go deal with that so for you guys, I'm um, hoping and praying, especially if you, I mean, oh, and for the people who have, you know, lost their jobs because of this, I wish you the best of luck on finding something, you know, for now that can get you back on your feet and stuff like this. I mean, we survived the economy, we survived Sandy and all that. I'm just hoping and praying you guys survive through these tough times as well. And again, let's just hope and pray since this is almost a whole year since Sandy hit. I'm just hoping and praying that, you know, that there would be no more storms coming our way and shit like that that everything we, we we're lucky so far everything should be okay and let's just hope we can have a halloween i know that's a little cool. it's stupid of me to say that but at least let's just hope we do instead of just being postponed for the other week which made no goddamn sense well no actually no scratch that it didn't make sense but at the same time it's like they wait for, for my town they wait like two weeks or three weeks later which beyond that because by that time thanksgiving and christmas are coming up so that didn't make any sense but anyway Anyways, now since I'm done, you know, giving my griefs and, you know, getting on that important topic, I've just realized that also besides that is that it is officially my two-year mark here on my Straw Hat Ninja 89 account. Now, for all of you who haven't really been with me from the day I started YouTube, I'll give you a little bit of a brief down really quick. Not too long. Don't panic. <laughs> In case any of you are still here, that is. Anywho, I started on YouTube back in 2006 called Ninetales89, but I never made videos, I was just there, like most YouTubers, just commenting, subscribing, there were no likes or dislikes, just like 4 or 5 star ratings, <laughs> if you guys remember those good old days who have joined YouTube back then, you know, the whole 4 or 5 star ratings and shit like that. And also, by the time that you can catch up with your favorite TV shows, it, does, it besides, you know, the usual Japanese anime and stuff like that, you know, regular TV show, shows you grew up with, you know, the good old days before Google decided to kick it right in the balls and, you know, take over, and then that's when the whole copyright shit, you know, began and whatnot. Anywho, um, the day that I finally decided to make videos wasn't around until 2009, but it wasn't on my 9Tells89 account. I tried to upload it, but I didn't really know. I was a new bat then. I couldn't really upload videos much. I, I didn't really know how YouTube's uploading system worked, but yeah, I was that stupid, so... I decided... I did the videos I did on a, on a friend of mine's. I used their account to make the videos, which I did. I think you could still find them somewhere. One's called, like... <laughs> <laughs> the angry Dragon Ball fan or something like that because I did a little mediocre review of Dragon Ball Evolution back in the day and I was like oh dear god I cannot believe I fucking did that 
Which, I'm gonna be honest, that movie's still a piece of shit, but, you know, still, you know, I... The, the review I did was completely mediocre. <laughs> I'm gonna admit that. The review itself was kind of mediocre. I mean, again, the, the camera quality wasn't that good and shit like that. And I was way too naive for my own good. Granted, you know, I'm the Dragon Ball Master and, you know, my old ignorant self, which I still, you know, regret till this day how much of a complete dick I was when I first started YouTube. And that's where I come in with that. In 2010, I finally decided to uh, put him on my original ch channel, 9 89 and then started to make videos there, where my reviews were somewhat mediocre too. My camera quality, again, still wasn't really the greatest. And I remember my reviews being so shitty when I had to actually make it to the fucking camera and like point it at the TV. Yeah, it was kind of ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm actually kind of glad that um, those days are over. I got back then. I did get a better camera. Not a webcam, but an HD camera to do whatever. I mean, as you could tell when it progressed. Until, you know, um... Yeah, back then, you know, I, I was such a complete asshole back in the day. I'm not gonna fucking lie, I really was. Like, you know, I thought it was the king of all these, like, YouTubers and shit. Not the king, but you get what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I have my own heart on my sleeve. I thought I was, I thought I was one of the tough people on the internet, which, you know, I was the big, bad, tough, you know, motherfucker, like, oh, I'm gonna fuck you up when you live, I'm gonna murder you piece of fucking shit, you know, shit, stupid, immature shit like that. And, you know, to be honest, I do regret that. Especially, you know, back in the day, if you remember, you know, back when I had beef with Yuana. Well, now look at us now. Back then I had beef, but look at us now. You know, me and Yuana are cool. I mean, I know it's been like a long-ass time since we talked on Skype, but I do try to email him from time to time saying, you know, how he's doing. I, I do send him some videos and stuff like that. We know of the good shit like Fairy Tale. You know, even now he even fucking hates Naruto, which I agree because I dropped that piece of shit fucking, what, like five to six months ago? I think it was like five months ago, whatever, six months ago. Yeah, yeah, you already know the story about that, which will be a future video. It could be possibly be coming soon. Since, you know, I'm going to make a special announcement real quick, and then I'm going to do something very special for you guys at the very end of this video, where I'm going to do an edit, of course. Um, yeah, so, besides that, so that video will definitely be coming pretty soon on the reasons why I dropped the Naruto series. And again, you know, that's not going to be on this channel, unfortunately. It is going to be on the Anime Game Freak 89 channel. And that will probably be close. I mean, when I get to my 100 video, that is basically what I plan to do for my 100 video. And that is, I finally decided to do the one video I've been dying to do. And God help me if I get so much fucking hate for it. But you know what? I'm here, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what people think, it's my opinion, I have a voice, I can say what I want. And see, I'm not being an asshole, I'm actually stating that I do have my own opinions, I do have my own right. What I'm trying to say is I think I kind of forced the opinions back in the day, like, down people's throats, but now I don't, like, it, 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 you know, if I like, no, if I don't like, what? Sorry about that, guys. I was being told I was being a bit too loud. I, uh, yeah, so, sorry if my voice is a little low. You're gonna have to higher up your volume, unfortunately. Anywho's, um, basically, yeah, um, and I'm, I'm not even talking that loud. I'm not even talk- oh my god, I'm not talking that loud. I lowered my voice. God, I lowered it. Anywho, um, so what I'm basically saying is, um, god, I lost- damn it, this is why I was going to lose track of shit. Oh, yeah, right. Um, <sighs> no takes, man. No takes, no takes, no takes, no takes. Fuck, no takes, no takes. <laughs> I could believe fucking dirt. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Um, that I have my own opinions. And, you know, uh, the one I was trying to say is that, you know, if I like Naruto, I mean, I, mean, I don't like Naruto. If I hate, if I don't like Naruto, I don't like Naruto. And if you like Naruto, that's fine, you know, just be with that, you know, just don't force it down people's, you know, throats and stuff like that, saying like, oh, you should like it, it's a great story, I don't know why you're not into this. Well, you know, hey, I mean, that's your problem, if, you, if you know, if your other people aren't into it, then they're not into it, and you just can't change the fact, I mean, it's just as bad as Twilight fans, I'm sorry, but again, okay, 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 I'll try to learn my voice, try to learn my voice, that's going to be for the video when I say it before that. And besides that, you know, me and Juana, like I basically said, you know, now we're pretty much, you know, 
we're awesome now, you know, we're into, like, a lot of great anime and manga, and uh, we don't really talk a lot, a lot, like we used to, but, you know, we're cool, and, um, if you're watching this, you wanna, you know, shout out to you, man, um, you're awesome, and it's a shame that you left the anime community, man, but, you know, I understand that, you know, these Naruto's, they don't listen, man, but, it's okay, man, it's all good, man, it's all good, you know, just do what you gotta do, you know, we all have lives, you know, so, we all lives, man. It's all good. I understand. And especially me, since this is why you don't see, like, too many videos for me during the week. Because, you know, I do have a life. Especially since, you know, I am going to be a married man quite soon, actually, to be honest. Speaking of that, that's going to be the special announcement I'm going to be making um, before I get to, uh, to doing the very special video for my two-year anniversary here on my Strahan and Jenny 9 channel. But, you know, before I get to that, I still gotta tell you guys about... Uh, see, this is what happens. It's unscripted, so fuck it. Anywho, so, meanwhile, in the year 2011, in the fall, apparently, um, some, some troll that I used to know of, apparently, actually hacked my original 9tels A9 account, they got all my information and shit like that, because there was this hater, and, you know, he, you know, he was just... He was just complaining of complete dick and stuff like that, and you know what, like, he, he was trying to threaten me with all these personal threats and shit like that, and unfortunately, it, it's stupid shit, and what happens is, basically to play a little prank, you know, for the lols, you know, they trolled me, and they actually took my original account, deleted all my videos, and they basically just took it, made some kind of troll account, and if you can find it, you can still find it, it's still active now, it's basically a troll account. Which I don't really care for anyway. So they can have it because I'm pretty much used to this channel by now. Making it for over 200 videos. Well, back then I almost had the 200 until that, you know, freaking, you know, person actually took advantage of that account. And, you know, yes, it did piss me off. It really did. But at the same time, it doesn't matter because I can brush on back. I can still come back on YouTube. Still make, you know, another channel with better quality. And to be honest... I know that, you know, I was pissed off, but at the same time, it was kind of a gift, because it, it was kind of a, a brief new start, and you know what, I'm actually kind of glad that my 9tels A9 account was deleted, not deleted, but at least just, you know, not by me anymore, and here's the reason why, I feel like with the Straw Hat Ninja 89 account, I made a brand new start, a fresh new start, mind you, a fresh new start, um, I gained a lot more respect over the year when I first started Strive Ninja 89. I gained more respect. I got better video studio quality um, video recording besides my HD camera. Finally got Camtasia to work. Started to do my video game reviews. Newer projects for me to get recognized. And it was overall pretty damn awesome. And I was really glad people respected me. And for you guys who actually were with me from the beginning. And for those of you who have just discovered me as Strive Ninja 89. I just want to say thank you guys very much for supporting me for over two years on this on this channel. You guys have been great. Thank you guys for all the comments. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for recommending me to people and following me, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Especially that will go to Anime Game Freak 89, but unfortunately that account hasn't reached two years yet. I believe it's either November or December. I forget. I'm going to look up um, into that in a, in a bit. Anywho, I just also want to say thank you guys, and, you know, I, I, now that I have brief history lessons over on how Straw Hat Ninja 89 uh, came to be, it's time to make a special announcement. And that announcement is, no, it's not the worst of the worst, I'm not leaving YouTube. It's just that starting the week of when I go on my honeymoon, on that weekend, I should say, I am not going to be active, I mean, I'm not going to be active, it's going to, I'm not, oh god. I'm not going to be active on YouTube for a week, meaning yes, it's going to be hiatus time. I'll be on hiatus for about one week, or close enough to a week. And that is the, the day of, I'm going to say either that Saturday, October 12th, or that Sunday, October 13th. One of those days is where my hiatus is going to be starting, or maybe even before that. I'll definitely give you guys a heads up if that's the case. I'm going to be on hiatus for quite a while, which means I won't be active that much on YouTube. I might be, but maybe not to, like, comment, just to look to see what's going on. Same thing with my Tumblr, for my people on Skype. Uh, my people on Skype who follow me on Skype, and for people who follow me on Tumblr, I won't be tumbling for a week. Well, tumbling, actually, no scratch. I can probably tumble for a bit. 
Um, but for people on Skype, though, maybe because if I do get free Wi-Fi in a hotel, if the Wi-Fi is pretty good, then sure, you know, I can give you guys a holler, especially for Wolf, uh, not Wolfden, for Medusa Kitty 2, aka Wolfden, um, uh, Night Rain on Tumblr, you know, she, me and you, you know, we'll talk to you guys and stuff like that, tell you how our honeymoon is, and you know, stuff like that. And if we can probably get in contact, maybe, but if we can't, then, you know, I mean, we probably could, but it's not gonna be that much anyway, because we're gonna be busy and stuff like that, so, yeah. Anywho, um, what the hell was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so just to let you guys know, it's gonna be a hiatus for about a week. I mean, no Toriko reviews for a while, uh, chapter reviews, episode reviews, no fairy tale chapter reviews, you know, shit like that. <laughs> no do friends, no do friends. Sorry, I had to bring that up. <laughs> Anyways, God, Drake is awesome. What did I just say that? Uh, well, Drake is pretty cool actually. I mean, even though I'm not into hip hop as much anymore, but he still got it. <laughs> Anyways, um. What was I going to say? Okay. So, yeah, you know, for that one week alone, I will not be on YouTube. I'll be on hiatus for a week. I know people, you know, been, you know, hungry for those Toriko reviews, man. Everybody loves them on motherfucking Toriko reviews, man. Everybody's hungry for that shit, man. But I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to be out for that whole week, and you have to understand that. However, I will try to combine those reviews into two videos. And I'm really hoping I can get back on YouTube by that week. I'm really hoping I do not have to be on a longer hiatus, which I hope I don't. So in case you guys are watching, I'm sorry. I'm going to be on hiatus for about maybe that just that week alone. Let's just hope, uh, depending if I'm not too busy. So I'm just hoping that, you know, that you guys understand that. You know, I want you guys to take into consideration. I want you to understand. I won't be on the, online for that week. Hopefully, I can be back online when I come back if I'm not too tired, or maybe if I'm not, or if my life sort of goes back to normal. You know, if we're settled in, then we're good. I'll be coming back to YouTube. Hopefully, I can try to combine the Toriko reviews if I can. Maybe I'm gonna see how that works, or I'm, I'm or I'm just gonna have to say fuck it and skip the chapters for that week. Maybe, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll see how I'll work it out. Until then, I'm going to provide you guys as much videos as I can for now until that hiatus is officially done. Maybe I'll actually do some reviews. Not like weekly reviews, but you know, my reviews I could be working on. And video projects I haven't been on. That been on the back of the bus with me. Like, especially the one I told you with Naruto. The My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 3 overview, which I'm going to try to pick up on that if I can. Um, new segments, I'm going to hold on that for a while. I'm just going to focus more on that and stuff like that. I'll try to convince you guys. Maybe I'll do some more live Skype um, live streams of the Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures game. If I can, hopefully. If I feel like playing anymore. Because that game is getting fucking unfair now. So, I mean, it's good and all. It's fun, reminiscing. But it can get really repetitive after a while, so I'll see on that. I'm gonna upload, speaking of which, I did another stream of that, which I'll be uploading probably pretty soon. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, until then, that's basically it. That's my special announcement that I want to make for my week hiatus, so I don't know if it's gonna be October 12th. Definitely the 13th, that's the wedding day. Uh, the 12th, probably, maybe yes. The 11th, maybe, I don't know. I mean, the, maybe the last last video I may even make may even be that next Wednesday or Thursday or whatever while I'll be active. And I'll be like, okay, guys, it's time for my hiatus and stuff like that. And, you know, bam, I'm just, you know, see you all when I come back. And I'll try to upload, you know, some photos, videos. If you can follow me on Facebook, I'll link you to that. I'll put it on Facebook and shit like that. <clears throat> okay, 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 I'll stop, I'll stop. I'm not talking that loud, all right. Sorry. Anyways, I mean, I know it's late, but I just want to get this video out of the way so I don't have to worry about this video tomorrow. So, yeah. And, you know, like I said, there's going to be one extra special thing at the very end of this video, so stay tuned for that. And with that, guys, this is basically my thank you guys for my two years here on YouTube. It's been a wild ride, but I can't believe it's been two years already. So, just hopefully you guys, you know, support me and stuff like that. And, yeah. Just support me, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, that's basically it. So, now just enjoy this little extra. So, enjoy guys, until then, this is Straw Hat Ninja 89 over and out, see on the bounce. Anime manga fans, keep supporting what you read and what you watch. Peace.
peace the fuck out and video gamers remember no game is ever impossible and here we go with the little exter enjoy guys guys uh, i don't know if you can um clearly see me or not well you probably can so this is the other portion the little extra at the very end of my two year anniversary special and i'm going to give you guys my little um not room tour or anything like that, but just like my collection of stuff. Now keep this in mind, I'm showing off my anime. Uh, I do have a lot of manga, basically a lot of One Piece, some fairy tale, stuff like that. But unfortunately that is all in a really big crate, and I will try to find some of them as soon as I can. They're all stacked up in there, but I have a crate of mangas, even those old big Higarashi mangas I have. Unfortunately they're there, maybe I could do that someday, but I just don't feel like grabbing it. And, you know, plus, it, it, it's, it, you know, with, with all my other stuff in that closet area, I have to go deep within there and actually go get them. But they're still good, still in mid condition, don't worry, they're not they're falling apart or anything like that. They're in good mid condition. I mean, at least one of them, well, one of them is a little eh, but, it, but, they're, the, but the pages are still in contact. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I, I take care of my manga, but it's a shame I don't have, like, a separate shelf of them, which I don't, but hopefully one day I'll get a separate shelf for my manga. Uh, if I can, but anyways, it's time to show you guys my anime collection. So first of all, we got the classic of all classic animes right here. Definitely one of the best classics that I've watched growing up. Yu Yu Hakusho, the complete collection dubbed. Um, some Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which I have the complete collection. I know, I apologize, it's not in order. But I'll try to do it when I have my free time, or when I get free time, to rearrange that. Some Bleach DVDs, I do have half of the Iran car, and I also have that filler, which is the Captain Amagai arc, and some of the rest of the Wekwamundo stuff, <coughs> but I, I, I gotta get back, you know, on my Bleach grind, it's been a while since I got any Bleach DVDs, I've been slacking on that, but, because with all those new releases coming out, it's been kicking me in the ass, but now, with not so much new releases, I can have a chance one of these days to pick up, at a cheaper price, more of the Bleach box sets. His bleach is awesome like that. Anyways, um, what am I doing? Bolt of the Negima series, which I have Bolt, um, Negima, and Negima explanation point question mark, whatever you guys want to call it, the sequel, I guess, or whatever. Um, Bolt pretty good. My favorite has to be the second one, Negima explanation point question mark. Love it, especially the voice acting is absolutely hilarious. Um, here we got Jubei Chun, the ninja girl. Um, Jubei Chun 2, complete collection dub. I got all four volumes. Um, in case you guys can see that, I'm trying to get the glare out. Um, we got Slayers um, next. As you can see, I'll take it out real quick. It's Slayers next. As you can see right here. Slayers next. Yeah, take that out. I kind of fixed the box. Cause at first, the box is a little iffy with the condition because I got it used, but I fixed the box up so it looks almost brand new. Samurai X, one of the OVAs, I have more of that showing up pretty soon. I got Slayer's Try, Slayer's Revolution, and Slayer's Evolution R. The only one I don't have is the original Slayer's because I wasn't too big of a fan of the original Slayer's. Plus, I didn't like the way the quality looked and the voice acting was kind of me. The voice acting kind of improved in Slayer's Next and the rest of the Slayer series. And Lena Inverse for the motherfucking win. Love her. She's definitely a fan favorite. Well, that and Zogadis I like. Um, here we got Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Um, pretty good movie. Definitely you guys can recommend checking it out. Dragon Ball Z Kai again. I have the complete collection to Dragon Ball Z Kai again. I do apologize. It's not arranged in order. Another random from Alchemist Brotherhood volume. Sorry, my thing kind of stopped for a second. New Fist of the North Star. Which is definitely a much better take of the original Fist of the North Star. I really like it a lot. I mean, Grant and I do love the original series as well, but it's very hard to find. The box sets, they're good and all, but I might get them one day, but not now. I'll see. Um, one of the Death Note movies, which is the... Um, let me get it real quick. Um, Change the World, which is the third Death Note movie, I believe. Yeah, it's the third one. Um, pretty good movie, actually. The Death Note live-action movies are pretty awesome. Um, I will get the series one of these days when I can, but I, I like the live-action movies a lot more. I mean, the anime series is good, but the live-action movies definitely give me more bang for my buck. They're actually really awesome. Here we have the... what is it, the second part? Oh yeah, part two to Black Butler, yes. Black Butler part two. Part one with that big-ass box collection. <laughs> so yeah, look at that. Big-ass box collection to Black Butler. Part number one. Shit. 
fuck. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the shelf. There we go. Uh, sorry, this is not the highest quality. I apologize, but um, go and log on. Pretty awesome series. I got the awesome Bandai edition. The Funimation is actually bringing this series back, but I don't need it because I already have the complete series before Bandai ran out of business. If case you can't tell from the save edition, it is Kurichi. I think this is season two or season one. Season one. Kurichi. Season two. I also have the Dragon Ball movie pack, not Dragon Ball Z, which has the dubs from the original movies and the newest dub for the Curse of the Blood movies or whatever it's called. Um, Trigon, Badlands Rumble. I will get the series one of these days, um, the complete series. I'm gonna try and get it. It's very, very cheap. It, 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 it is cheap as pennies on fucking Amazon.com. You can find it cheap anywhere, the complete series, on DVD. I don't think they're gonna have a Blu-ray edition to it anytime soon. Um... Ooh, Fetty Teru. Fetty Teru Part 3. Yeah, this is Part 3 of the first season Fairy Tale. Another Samurai X OVA. I think it's one of the other ones that, that I didn't show. One of the other Samurai X OVAs. More Bleach. More Bleach, Bleach, Bleach. Another random Fuma Hakamas Brotherhood. Um, Persona. The animation, which I already did an unboxing since I, I know you guys already saw this almost about, yeah, just about a year ago. You saw an unboxing to Persona 4, the animation. More random. Oh, God, come on, get back in there. Come on, there you go. <laughs> More Dragon Ball Z Kai. You right now have the complete series to dance. The complete series to Black Cat, a very awesome series. Definitely recommend you guys checking it out. Dragon Ball GT, complete collection dubbed. I already know you have that. Bleach movie Fate the Black, right? Yeah, this is Bleach movie Fate the Black. This is one of my favorite Bleach movies next to Hellverse, another awesome series. The very awesome Yu Yu Hakusho OVA collection. I really like this a lot. It's a shame some of the OVA stuff is in Japanese, but whatever. Uh, it, it's it's alright with me, I guess. Now, I know I've dropped this shitty series, but at least the movies, I would say, are the only decent things about it. Bonds, which is the only movie I, I thought it was okay. I'm probably gonna fucking sell this if you guys want it. Bonds, but I did like movie one. Movie one was pretty awesome. Uh, movie one, the Naruto Shippuden was pretty tight. I like that one. Um, yeah, movie one was pretty good. I like the way better than Bonds. No Dragon Ball Z Kai <laughs> random volume. More Fetty Tail goodness. This is the original first DVD Blu ray they ever released two years ago. Apologies for the. Uh, Lent there that kind of stopped, but anyways, some um, old school goodness you saw right there. Nostalgia, I apologize. High School of the Dead, Blu-ray, awesome series. I didn't get the OVA yet. I'm, I'm a mix of getting it, because even though it's only $5 on eBay or something like that, for only like a 15 minute OVA, I don't know if it's definitely worth it, but one of these days I'll give it a chance. Uh, where is... Apologies for... Uh, that shit, but where I last left it off was High School of the Dead. Uh, hold on a sec. Ah. Alright. Uh, next up we got more Fairy Tale. This is the second part, DVD, Blu-ray, combo pack. The second one that they released, um, ever. And then, next is, what is this? Samurai Girls, which, it's very awesome. I know the second season came out, which I already saw it. It was actually pretty good. I think I liked it almost as much as the original season to Samurai Girls. Definitely liked it. I thought it was actually very awesome. Uh, definitely recommend it. I mean, granted, just some more new, it does have fan service up the ass, let me tell you that right now. But it's pretty entertaining nonetheless. Then again, so it was fairy tale, but who's complaining? <laughs> now, this... Yeah, I got fucked up badly, because... Apparently, this is what happens when I let somebody uh, borrow it, and they kind of fucked up my casing, but in case you can't tell, this is Bleach, the Diamond Dust Rebellion, the case of it, he was trying to do something to fix the casing because the thing kind of ripped, and he kind of made it worse. The disc is all fine, the, f the original movie disc is fine, but the special features disc is uh, no more. So, yeah, I'm pretty pissed off about that, but I can't do anything about it, so it's whatever. Um, ooh... One Piece Collection 1, Collection 2, Collection 3, Collection number 4, and Collection 5, or the fuck are you? 
Five. Samurai X the Motion Picture. Pretty awesome movie. Random. Oh, wow. This is for all you nost really nostalgia right here. The original Zanch Bell DVDs. I have some more of them, but unfortunately they're not in the original cases. They're in some other cases I don't have them in. They are the original discs, but they're in these random cases that a dude gave to me from his, like, garage sale or something. But anyways, here is something very classic. I know it's not anime, but it's pretty awesome. Sound of the Hedgehog, the Saturn series. Definitely one of my favorites out of the Sonic cartoon franchises. Um, a lot better than the whole, I'm waiting, you know, the whole Dr. Robot Nick Pingus, YouTube memes everywhere, like, yeah. I know, we, we all been there, done that, but, sorry. <laughs> and furries for the win. <laughs> Just kidding, oh, fuck you. Okay, next up, very big-ass box, but very awesome. Jubei Chun, the Ninja Girl. This is the first one, as I showed you before, I got the second set. So, I'm gonna put that back. Uh, very awesome series, even though the second one kind of gets more respect because of the action. But the first series I still give some love to. I think it's still pretty awesome nonetheless. The last part for season one, which is part four, or in this case there's no season thing, it's just the, far the parts. This is from just only about a year ago that they released part four on DVD Blu-ray combo, so I'll put that back. If I can put it back. Another random Dragon Ball Z Kai volume now let's go to this my last section then we go to my other section there's one more section after this full metal alchemist brotherhood movie very awesome okay uh, okay guys for that delay but uh i went a little backwards here but screw it anyways black butler season two uh, complete, complete collection dubbed, which includes the OVAs as well, DVD Blu-ray combo. Um, definitely between the first and second season, this one was actually pretty good, but I think the first season was definitely more intriguing with the mystery and all that. Here, it was just like an all-out, like, cat and mouse chase, kind of like Death Note, sort of, but, you know, whatever, both of them are pretty good in their own rights. Speaking of which, Death Note... Here's Death Note, the movie 2. I know this is a bootleg, but it is the English dub I got from an import shop, like, years ago. But, definitely, before I was working it, at least. But definitely check it out if you haven't seen the Death Note live action movies. Random Bleach Volume, one of the last ones I got. Hopefully one day, again, I can catch up to the rest of them when I can. The Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood OVA Collection. At first, I didn't think this was going to be worth the $10 I paid for. But, I mean, $14, $15 I paid for. But, man, was I freaking wrong. This was such an awesome OVA set. And some very funny ones here, uh, too, which were pretty damn hilarious. Some very serious ones that leads up to sort of, like, this, like, mystery kind of thing, but still pretty good. Um, I know our random Dragon Ball Z Kai, which is the final part, part 8. Yep, which is the final one. Complete collection. Um, one Piece Season 4 Voyage 1. Well, you already saw an unboxing of that last year. Alright, you already know I got that. You saw an unboxing of this last year as well. Panning, stock, and... Carter Bell oh shit. Uh, sorry about that. Something just fell over. Yeah, I'll fix it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I'm trying to get that. There we go. Anyways, uh, where, where's that? Right, yep, there we go. Cowboy Bebop, the rarest of the Midnight Collections. Unfortunately, these are pretty damn high on Amazon right now, but luckily I got mine before they actually went up the wazoo with the prices. Um, the only thing I don't have, I don't think, is like Code Geass and all that. That I'll have to get when Funimation releases at a much cheaper price range. You all know, One Piece Season 4, Voyage 2. I did unboxing of it last year. The very first Death Note movie, the actual original copy. <laughs> Friend of mine hooked me up with this one. The Broly uh, Triple Threat Pack, which I think is, is kind of cool, even though I didn't like the third Broly movie, but the first two I really liked. Uh, come on, get your ass in there, stupid box. Sorry. Anyways, My Little Pony. Yes, I'm a brony. Don't be hating. Don't be hating on fucking bronies. Sorry, I can't, I can't help it. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 1, the complete episodes 1 to 26. One One Piece Collection, which is Collection 6, Collection 7, and Collection 8, leading up all the way for the first three seasons, ending it off before Season 4 was released. Here is Shotgun Oshana, Season 1, DVD Blu-ray combo pack, complete collection dub. Shotgun Oshana for the win, love that series, it's definitely very good. 
definitely, it's very unique from other animes. You should definitely give it a shot. And now we go to my very last shelf, for now until I collect more. So here we have, if you can't see, uh, covering here, we got, I did unboxing this last year, you already know, Dead Man Wonderland, complete collection dubbed. Dead Man Wonderland, I'm gonna put this back. Give me that real quick. Okay. I know I dropped Naruto again, but this is the only awesome Naruto movie. Everything else can suck my dick. Besides, Blood Prison War, Rotten Ninja was kind of random as shit, but I might check it out when the dub is released. I don't have time for that. Fuck Naruto. But I do like the movies, so though. The movies are awesome. Anyways, um, Trini Blood, a very classic, classic anime. Saw this on Adult Swim all the way through. Very awesome stuff. Um, the vampire aspect in this was done really well, except I don't think the ending wasn't too great. If I remember, it's been a while. I'm probably gonna rewatch it again. It's been a long time. Any Asha the Final Act DVD, uh, the first part. I like Final Act way better than the original series. Less filler, way more to the action of the story. The very first awesomeness of Berserk. Don't have movie two yet, but I plan on picking it up any pretty time soon. I mean, I'll do an unboxing of that newly when I get the chance. Bleach, the final movie to Bleach. Moving along again, so they had to reinstall my uh, storage again for use. Where I last left off was the final Bleach movie, Hellverse. Definitely one of my most favorites of Bleach movies. Uh, next, you already saw I did like a little update or something for the holidays. You already know I got this. Uh, yeah, I will, yeah, in a bit, yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. Why? What? No, the plate's upstairs! I have a getting interrupted that annoys me. But this will alright, I'm just gonna wrap this up real quick. Alright, so you already know I, I did a little update thingy on that or whatever. Uh Tenchi Universe. I love this series to death. It's one of my favorite Tenchi series of all time. Next to the OVA, which I'll show you just like in a bit or so. Uh the only one I don't have is the Tokyo one. Uh GXP fuck that. War on Genemai fuck that because those series aren't Tenchi to me. And they're a piece of shit, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be harsh, but that's the truth. So is this part one or part two? That's part two. Here's Shakugan no Shana, season two, part one, DVD Blu-ray combo pack. I also have the second part as well, if I can, wait, is this the third season or the, yeah, okay, I want to make sure, I was a bit confused there for a sec, uh, yeah, alright, and part two is where, right here, okay, so here's Shotgun Oshana season two, part number one, got that as well, I mean part number two, god, I'm really derping up today, um, I like the second season, but I think the first season kind of nails it, the only thing that was redeeming was the ending, and I think season three was pretty much good, Teen Titans, season one, uh, Teen Titans, season two, as you can see, I love Teen Titans, grew up with it, it's my shit, um, hopefully to get the other last two seasons, where I last left off is season three. I gotta get season four and season five next. Um, uh, anyways, next up, the final collection of Persona, the animation, Persona 4, the animation part two. Blu-ray, very awesome. I love the ending especially. Very awesome job that they did, especially with the game. Very awesome. You guys did a fantastic job with that. Oh, you know what time it is. Let's go. Toddy, Toddy, go. Part number one, which is the first part for season one. Um, Funimation did a pretty good job on the dub for the most part. Uh, part number two. I have the complete first season to Torrico, as I just got the first whole season to that. Got the other seasons I'll show you in a bit. Shakugan no Shana, the OVA. I got this over the movie because I think I like I liked it way better than the movie because the movie was just a retelling of the original series. Oh, of course, you already know I did an unboxing of that. Uh, One Piece. I, I don't want to take it out because it's a mess. Season 4, Voyage 3, Inuyasha, The Final Act, Part 2. Uh, the OVA collection, which I don't risk taking it out right now, which is the Tenchi. I'll take it out just really quick. The Tenchi Muyo OVA collection. You already know I did a Christmas update on that. Give me one sec again. I'm trying to fix this up real quick. Uh, okay, just let me just get that right there and stay, which I doubt it. It's probably not. 
I think I screwed up on the box to get this to stay. Okay, alright. So you already know I did unbox of that. Body go. Part 3. You already know I did unboxing of that. Not too long ago. Like way earlier within the year. Uh, where is it? Shotgun Loshana. Where the hell is Season 3, Part 1. Season 3, Part 2. Toriko, season part four of the first season. You already know I did unboxing to that. I already know I did an update for you guys on My Little Pony Friendship's Magic, Twilight Sparkle Princess Cadence, the Princess one, the complete second season of My Little Pony Friendship's Magic. Love the cover case for this way better, and this season was my favorite. Uh, One Piece season four, Voyage five. Dude, where's Voyage 4? Oh, I didn't even take out Voyage 4. Whoops. One Piece Season 4 Voyage 4. You already know I did unboxing to that. You already know I did unboxing to this. So we're the complete collection. The complete collection dubbed. You already know I did unboxing to this. The save edition to Saints of Destruction. Complete collection dub. You already know I already did this. One Piece Season 5 Voyage 1. My pony toys right there. I already did show you that. The fairy tale part five. I replaced the cover with Wendy. So right there. Did unbox it to that. Questria Girls. No, I'm sorry. Questria Girls DVD. I mean Blu-ray. The DVD Blu-ray combo pack. And finally, my last unboxing from last time. One Piece season five, which two. So I I gotta clean this up. So thank you guys for. Seeing most of my anime collection, my whole entire anime collection for now, I'm going to keep expanding in the future. Tell me what you think of my anime collection. And I got to get going to my dinner time table. So this is Story Ninja 89. Over and out. See you in the bounds. Peace out. Anime manga fans, keep to play what you read and what you watch. Sorry for talking fast, but I'm going to this right now. So, yeah, I got to go eat. Thank you guys for all the two years you've been with me. And yeah, see ya.